Al Church couldn't care less their sign offends people, says it's staying up, someone had to say it. An evangelical church in Opelika, Alabama is turning a lot of heads after publishing their unwavering support for the unjustly embattled Republican Senate candidate Judge Roy Moore on their sign outside of the church. As most everyone knows by now, Judge Roy Moore is being accused of sexual abuse and harassment by multiple women who were teenagers at the time, as young as 14. But none of the allegations have been proven. And even the one which allegedly happened when a 14-year-old, which ambulance-chasing attorney Gloria Allred trotted out a few weeks ago, has been proven to be false after she refused to release the yearbook he had allegedly signed for her to an impartial party for signature authentication. The Living Way Ministries Church in Opelika posted they falsely accused Jesus. Vote Roy Moore on the sign and caused nationwide outrage after a photo of it was uploaded to social media earlier this week. The Johnson Amendment prohibits churches from endorsing or supporting political candidates, but the new Republican tax plan supported by President Trump would repeal this asinine amendment. President Donald Trump made the idea of allowing churches to become heavily involved in politics a large part of his candidacy saying it's not fair that a church doesn't have the same rights as any other organization in the U.S. In a statement early this week, Church officials said their phone had been ringing off the hook with those who both support and those who oppose this move and it is becoming a disruption for the church as they try to conduct regular business. Viabriet Bart Roy Moore, we've got to go back to God to save our country. Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore campaigned in Alabama Tuesday night, just one week out from the election. Moore spoke to the audience after his supporters, including Briet Bard News Chairman Steve Bannon, rallied the crowd to finish the fight against the establishment political system in Washington, D.C. We've got to go back to God, we've got to go back to restore the morality of this country, Moore said. Moore campaigned with Bannon in the same barn as during the Republican primary, when he was locked in a battle against the establishment. A bluegrass band opened up the rally where more supporters gathered at the close of a grueling campaign. The former judge quoted Ephesians 6, reminding voters that they were fighting a spiritual battle against the forces of evil, urging them to take up the armor of God. He acknowledged that he had been attacked on all sides in the election, but would continue to fight on their behalf. We've struggled, but we've overcome, Moore said. And I think that on December 12th we'll see an election that the world won't forget. More read from Patrick Henry's Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech, putting the country's current struggle in the same lens, patriots struggling against an overbearing federal government that was ignoring the issues important to them. What has there been in the conduct of the American government in the last ten years to justify those hopes that so many have been pleased to solace themselves? He asked. Nothing. Moore cast the race in terms of an ongoing battle against the establishment in Washington to support President Donald Trump's agenda. They don't want me up there, I know that, he said. They would rather have a Democrat up there than me in the Republican Party. Moore promised to stand for the sanctity of marriage, the unborn, and belief in God and religion and to oppose leftist issues like allowing transgender people into bathrooms of their own choice and bringing transgender soldiers into the military. He also condemned Roe v. Wade as a violation of the Constitution and vowed to fight for pro-life issues. I will never backtrack on that, he said. Moore recalled that Donald Trump's election lifted a great burden from his shoulders after he realized that America had another chance to succeed. We do have another chance, he said, but if we don't take the opportunity to address the issues in this country, we're going to lose it. He also vowed to support Trump to stop illegal immigration, build a wall, fix existing trade deals like NAFTA, and repeal Obamacare. You know what I think, I think they're afraid that I'm going to take Alabama values to Washington, he concluded. And I want to tell you, I can't wait. So glad to see Alabama voters aren't buying this political hit from the deep state swamp in D.C. Judge Roy Moore has run for multiple offices during his lifetime and no one has ever come out until he posed a threat to the political establishment. Please share if you support the people of Alabama and Judge Roy Moore. Roy Moore.